Hello, my name is Donna Bellamy. I'm the author of Raising Happy Hearts and I'm a wife of 15 years and I'm the mother of six. And today I have a very important tip to share with you to help you in your marriage. And so the text today is Song of Solomon 2.15. And it says, Catch us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. And this just seems like a very simple little um, scripture in the Bible. But it's actually really important if you think about it because a lot of the time it's not the big things that ruin a marriage. It's the everyday little small things that ruin the marriage. So what we want to make sure of is that we're led by the Holy Spirit in how we treat our husbands and we're not led of the flesh because the flesh is going to want to put you first to the detriment of your marriage. So it's so important to listen to the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is asking you to do to put your husband before yourself, to be a loving spouse, to speak kindly to him, to think of ways that you can be a blessing. So I just wanted to share with you what happened the other day. So um, when I had my last baby is when I first started getting a PMS symptoms um, and specifically right before I started getting my cycle, I started just getting really irritable, like for no reason. And well, I thought I had a reason, like, but I felt like there was this cloud over my head that no matter what, I was just, just upset at everything, and I just wasn't, I just wasn't happy. And you know, I was like sitting in bed and just thinking to myself, Lord, what's going on? Lord, what is the answer to this? Why am I feeling this way? And and so before that, um, well, let me just start by saying, so I actually. You know realized you know what it was that it was whatever this hormonal thing but I'm like no you know I'm not standing for that I'm not receiving that I'm not just gonna believe that every month I'm just gonna have to be irritable and cranky and so you know I spoke to that thing and I said you know PMS in the name of Jesus I command you to leave and instantly that cloud that I felt like was over my head just lifted and I was back to my normal joyful happy loving self and so I realized that you know and you know it may have been a natural thing but still you know I have authority over it and I commanded it to leave and it obeyed me and it still tries to come back you know month after month but I, I recognize it and I command it to go but this one night um, I was commanding it to go it just wasn't leaving as as fast as I needed it to and you know my husband he was about to you know go to sleep and you know he wasn't you know I wasn't making him feel very warm and fuzzy because you know I was in a bit of a cranky mood and so I'm like you know God I need to fix this situation fast because I don't want to you know let my husband down and you know have a horrible night and so you know I was speaking to this um, PMS so it just wasn't leaving fast enough and but earlier I had got this um, this this oil and it is called dragon time dragon time I actually got this a few months ago and one day when I was dealing with that PMS I actually just I said let me just you know instead of just sitting here in the funk and it not lifting I'm just gonna go ahead and you know put a few drops on my wrist and I'll tell you what within like 20 seconds I just felt like <sighs> like whatever it was was gone and I was back to my normal self and so if by any chance I'm speaking to that irritability, that PMS, and it's not leaving. You know, I just use this um, Dragon Time, and I, I originally wasn't sure if I wanted to share about that, but the Lord said to me, you know, if you had a friend, would you share it with her? And I said, well, absolutely, I would share it with her. And he said, well, then I want you to share it on your video. So there you go, Dragon Time. It's sold by Young Living, and it is essential oil. And for me, it really helps, like, gets rid of that irritability, the crankiness, that cloud over my head. You know, if it doesn't go by my words, I just put like three drops on and it's gone. So I wanted to, to, to um, share that with you. So that same night that I was talking about to begin with, where I went and I put on the dragon time, then the Holy Spirit put on my heart, you know, go and lay down next to Will, you know, and cuddle with him. And so, you know, immediately, you know, I went to, well, actually, I'm not going to say immediately. I thought about it for a while because, you know, I didn't, you know, my flesh didn't feel like doing that. But I, out of obedience to the Spirit, you know, I went and I laid down next to my husband and straight away, you know, he apologized to me 
for his part and I straight away apologized to him for my part and straight away and straight away the intimacy was back in that marriage and so just from that little act of obedience to the Holy Spirit and going against what my flesh felt like and and I was ministering you know to a lady and I was telling her about that you need to just listen to the Holy Spirit in how you you know minister to your husband and what you do don't be led by the flesh don't just you know, be led by your, you know, your feelings and your emotions. Be led by the Spirit. And she said, yeah, you're right, because a lot of the times I'm led by my flesh. You know, and her marriage was starting to circle the drain. And so I ministered to her, you know, start listening to the Spirit. Don't listen to the flesh. The flesh will never lead to anywhere good. You always listen to the Spirit. So if your marriage is starting to be on the rocks, if you're having, you know, issues in your marriage, start with yourself. Start with yourself. Um, ask the Holy Spirit, you know, what can I do? What are the little things that I can start to do today to start repairing the marriage? Because it's just like it's the little foxes that eat away and spoil the vine. It's the little decisions and the little things that you do to be a blessing to your husband that can make your the whole vineyard flourish. And it is so true. It's so true. And uh, I have another scripture that I wanted to share, and it's Proverbs 14.1. It says, the wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pulls it down with her own hands. And so you have that power, ladies, you have the power. You can either build up your house and build up your husband and be led by the spirit and be a blessing, or you can literally you know, act in the flesh and you can pull it down with your own hands. But it's up to you and God's gonna give you the grace. You have the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you and show you what to do and when to do it. Just listen to Him. And I believe that is gonna be the turnaround in your marriage. All right, so I love you guys. And if this blessed you, please like and share it so it can be a blessing to someone else. And like me on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube because I'm on there as well. All right, love you guys, bye.